Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's time for a new video in Maya 2018, and today we're going to be looking at a brand new feature called the uh, Circularize Component feature. Okay, and uh, that is pretty cool, I can tell you. So let's jump in. Here we go. Okay, guys, well, we're in Maya 2018, and we're going to talk about the new feature in Maya 2018 called Circularize Component. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to plane to select a simple plane and then I'm going to go into my attribute editor by hitting control A and I'm going to go in and change that subdivision level to 3 by 3 okay I'm going to right click and go to face select this face and now it's time to pull up that new feature I'm going to hold down shift and right click and go down to circularize components now, as I do that, I get this menu that pops up, and here there are a couple of very neat things you can do, okay? For example, the normal offset, if you want to push this up or down, you can do so. Pretty cool, right? Let's set that back to zero. Uh, the radial offset, let's say you want that to be bigger or smaller, you can do that as well. You have the normal orientation, we're gonna leave that alone because it's facing upward, that's fine. And we have the twist option, and this one I like very much. It allows you to twist that selection, and the other way as well, of course. And that will enable you to do some very cool things from a modeling standpoint, okay? We're gonna set that back to zero. Now, uh, what I really like here is the add division option. If you pull this, you see that this starts to change shape, even to a point where it's a perfect circle. Now keep in mind though that that comes at a price. When you do that and you make it a circle, you will have vertices all the way around, which are basically uh, you know, creating n-gons, okay? So we're gonna leave it at this like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the top view and we're gonna fix the geometry so we don't have any n-gons, okay? I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna open up the modeling toolkit, take the multi-cut tool, and we're going to connect this to right there, right click, this to right there, right click, this to there, and this to, come on, this to there, and right click, all right? So now we don't have any end guns anymore, and right now you can, for example, go in, hit Q on your keyboard, select this face, Let's do uh, Control E to extrude and W to pull out like this. And then you can go in and you can take that face and you can delete it. And you can, for example, take this object, Control D to duplicate, W to move up, E to rotate, hold down J as you do so until it's facing straight down. And then you're gonna shift select them both mesh and combine and then you're going to go in right click edge double click and shift double click and go to edit mesh and bridge that's all there's to it okay so a neat little new feature have fun with that if you have any questions as always let me know uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and if you don't want to miss out on future videos make sure you subscribe okay well, that said, thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys soon. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.